Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. So one of the challenges in the GDPR, um, frankly, is um, mapping your data, of uh, knowing what data you have um, and where it lives, you know, across your entire estate, and frankly, what kind of data is it? Because uh, you have to classify the data within the GDPR and, and know which data has to be protected in what way because different data has different levels of protection and, and unavoidable here, you have to figure that out. Um, so you're gonna have to walk through every single bit of data you have. And it's on it's in your best interest to do this because um, if you go to someplace like the um, Theft Resource Center um, and look at some of the uh, data breaches, 10% um, of the breaches were caused by employee error and 7% of the breaches were caused by employee negligence. Um, and only about 5% were actually caused by, you know, uh, or, and oh, I'm sorry, and 5% were caused by insider theft. That's a lot of information that is accessible to people who probably shouldn't be having it. Yeah, I'm uh, granted, some, you know, if, if it's straight up theft, it could come from somebody who's supposed to have it. But uh, negligence means that somebody just messed up and move data where it wasn't supposed to be. Um, and, you know, accidental exposure means somebody messed up and moved data where it wasn't supposed to be. Um, you know, it's it's uh, down to the, making that control and making that mapping and understanding exactly which data you have and exactly where that data lives um, that you have to arrive at in order to make compliance with the GDPR possible. Um, just taking the right to be forgotten. If you don't know where that your data is, you can't comply with the right to be forgotten and you will in fact run into issues. So what do you have to do? You really are gonna have to take the approach of, first, you've gotta find all your data. Where, where are we storing it? Which databases do we have it on? Which servers are they on? Um, do we have it in other places? Azure, AWS. Do we have it, you know, hosted someplace? Do we have offsite backups? Do we, you know, where, where is every bit of this data and in what form is it in? Is it in Excel? Is it in SharePoint? Is it in some other, you know, storage mechanism? We've got to go and we've got to track everything down. Yay. Step two, you've got to classify the data. You've got to figure out which data is under control of the GDPR, which data is private data, should not be shared and then you have to put controls around that. Step three is reduce your attack surface area. You have to remove uh, chances for people to leak the data by accident. Um, remove chances for people to, you know, to distribute it. Um, simply take away mechanisms that are not um, in keeping with your overall use of the data as defined through the GDPR to your uh, clients and, and members and everyone whose data you're managing. Um, and then finally, you've got to manage the data. You've got to take it under control and and do things with it um, that are in compliance with the GDPR and feed compliance with the GDPR and document compliance with the GDPR. And you've got to do all of these things, which is why one of the most important things you can start doing is automating. Um, you really have got to get your data management under control through an automation process. Um, if you are not currently, you know, um, automating the mechanisms through which data gets out of your production environments to non-production environments, now's the time. Um, if you don't know exactly where data is going because there are manual processes being occur occurring, you know, and, and you know, Stefan over there is is moving data around and you don't know about it, um, you've got to get that under control, right? There, there's no way that you can be compliant with the GDPR and not know where your data is, how it's being used, how it's being processed, and where it is so you can be compliant with, you know, I know where this data is, I know how it works, I can remove it as needed, I can support it, I know it's online. If it goes offline, I can get it back online, right? All of the requirements of the GDPR are all driven off of knowledge of your database first and foremost. You must know what data you have and where that data lives. So you've got to map all of your data. That has to occur step one. 
My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.